Well, February marks 25 years since the murders of the Yosemite sightseers. Now, I sat down with one of the special agents who is revealing how he got the killer, Carrie Stainer, to confess. On a sightseeing trip to Yosemite, Carol's son, her daughter Julie, and their friend Sylvina Peloso vanished in February of 1999. Weeks later, Carol and Sylvina's bodies were found in their charred rental car down a cliff. We have recovered two bodies from the trunk of the vehicle. But where was Julie? The killer sent the FBI this hand-drawn map with a chilling message. We had fun with this one. It showed a trail from Highway 120 with an X along the shore of Don Pedro Reservoir, where investigators discovered Julie's body. Months later, the killer struck again, beheading naturalist Joey Armstrong in Yosemite. I'm going to be totally honest and not hold anything back. Then FBI Special Agent Jeffrey Reinick was sent to talk with a potential witness in the cases. Carrie Stainer, a handyman at the Cedar Lodge, the motel where the sightseers stayed. Stainer was at the Laguna del Sol nudist colony in Wilton. That drive should Reinick be... convinced Stainer to ride with him to the FBI office. During that time, we got to know each other. Carrie opened up about his brother Stephen, the subject of the movie I Know My First Name is Stephen. At age seven, Stephen Stainer was kidnapped a few blocks from his Merced home. He escaped his captor at 14. Carrie was not happy over the short sentence his brother's kidnapper got. He went to prison for seven years. And, and yet they held Stephen for seven years, and he felt that was really um, not right. And I agreed with him. I had no problem. I agree with you. You ultimately gained his trust in a very short period of time. And I don't judge people, so when they talk to me, they feel comfortable. That connection ultimately got Stainer to confess to killing Joey Armstrong. But before admitting to killing the sightseers, Reinick says Stainer tried to negotiate. He wanted images of young girls his family to get the reward money, and to end up in a federal prison near his family. Reinick recalls asking him to pick one. What's the one thing? It's the one thing only, and what he chose the pornography. Stainer did not get any of his requests, but ended up confessing to killing the sightseers, saying he planned the attacks for more than a year, and explained why he drew that map to investigators. It was bothering him that Julie's body was laying out there in the elements and not being found. Stainer was convicted and sentenced to death. What's valuable to me is the helping the families and trying to give closure to the families. Carrie Stainer is now 62 years old and at San Quentin. Investigators have looked at him in five other killings across the valley in the foothills dating back to the 80s. That includes his own uncle, but he's never been charged in those cases. His brother, Stephen, died in a motorcycle crash in 1989.